Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's GR here back in the hidden game room. Another pickup video. I uh, didn't get a lot um, since my last video. Been a like, been a little busy, but um, I did pay a trip over to Second and Charles. I heard that game collector uh, talking about it a lot, and I just got on the internet and saw if I had one near me, and I did. So I went over there and picked up a few games. Um, got a few games from GameStop. And got some from Walmart. And let's just get on with it. Should tell you what I got. Uh, picked up uh, Allied General from Second and Charles for PlayStation 1. I already had Panzer General, so I had to pick this up. Been looking for it for a while. Um, Would have liked to have the long box, but that's what I found. So just went with that. Uh, picked up Caesar's Palace 2000 and Caesar's Palace 2. Um, I love Caesar's Palace on the Super Nintendo. So I wanted to try these out. And I didn't really get that great of a deal on them, but they were complete over there Second and Charles. So I just grabbed them. Um, the last thing I picked up is Second and Charles, which is one I did not have. Everybody's been talking about it. So uh, Resident Evil 2 for the PlayStation. Uh, definitely looking forward to playing this. Um, have not played it at all. Everybody uh, been watching on YouTube saying how good it is. And no title or just picked one of these up or got it from somebody. So, but I picked up my copy over there. So, hopefully be checking that out soon. The last game I got for the PlayStation. Picked this up over at the game store. Um, I always grabbed it just because it was a long box. It was like $7 I think. Um, Edge of Warrior F111 X for the original PlayStation. Said in the this is the plastic like long box, not the cardboard. But the only time I get long box games had complete even with the foam. I grab them as long as they're not ridiculous or overpriced. I will snag them up every time I see them. I don't know why I just got something for those long boxes. Uh, next game I picked up. Um, Worms World Party for the Game Boy Advanced. I uh, haven't played that, but uh, you know, I like worms, so whatever. Picked up Dead Rising 3 for the Xbox One. Over there at Walmart. That was marked down. Ten, was it $10 or something? Picked up Killer Instinct Definitive Edition. So this came with all of the DLCs. Um, season 1 and 2 included both of the arcade machines. And like all the fighters, all the skins, so I had basically everything Killer Instinct. And then, um, also, while I was going down to Second and Charles, I passed a video store. And I said, I need to stop there on the way back just to see. It's like a mom and pop joint. Ain't too many of them still left, but they had video games in there for sale. Everything was for sale, sale or rent. So I went in there, I picked up Naughty Bear for the PS3. Haven't seen that in a while. Didn't have it. Picked that up. Picked up Splatter House for the Xbox 360. I love playing this on the Turbo Graphic, but this this looks way more intense. So can't wait to check that out. Picked up also with Second and Charles. I believe this was Second and Charles. Picked up a couple of NES games. Picked up Muppet Adventure Chaos at Chaos at the Carnival. So I don't know much about that game. I mean, I've heard about it, but never, I don't think I've seen it. Monster Party for the NES. Got a good deal on that. And I know this one, if I remember, wasn't that much fun, but I'm going to give it a second second try. I picked up an absolute classic, uh, Mighty Bomb Jack from Tecmo. I uh, haven't played it as a kid, but I always wanted it. Never got it, but then I picked it up. They had a, had a good price on it. And the last one I got over at Second and Charles, uh, Xenophobe from Sunsoft for the NES. And I uh, haven't played that either, but I do somewhat remember. I went over to a friend's house and they were playing it. And so I think that's like a shooter platform thing. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. And I went over to GameStop and... Um, to actually pick up this game, let me show you this one first. I went over there to pick up uh, Wild Guns Reloaded uh, for the Switch because it was the physical release date. I think this was already available digital download 
for a while, but they had the physical release date the same day as God of War. So I picked that up. When I was over there, I picked up Xenoblade X Chronicles for the Wii U. They had it over there sitting there for like $13, so I was like, why not? Um, I didn't have it. And then I was at Walmart, like about three, four hours from my house. Um, had to go down there for something else, but there was a pawn shop that wasn't open and then there Walmart and I uh, believe it or not I went in there and they had a uh, Sly Cooper collection for the Vita and this was only ten dollars brand new sealed So I picked that up and they had another one, but I checked on eBay. They're only going for like, you know, fifteen dollars So I wouldn't even make my money back if I was to buy that and the last one I picked this up Metal Slug Anthology for the PS2. I don't have any of the Metal Slugs on the Geo because, you know, they're crazy expensive. But I do have them on the Neo Geo X. But pick this up. It's a Metal Slug 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A Metal Slug X all on one disc. So I saw this for the PSP over there. And it, it got gone quick even though the price wasn't that good. But. Um, when I saw this one, I just grabbed it and looked at it. Um, I said, yep, not going to pass on it this time. And guys, um, thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing. And I'll catch you all at the next one. Peace.